The Pro Football Hall of Fame finalist list came out this week, and for the first time, Freddie T, Fred Taylor, is on that finalist list. He's one of 15 finalists. That list will be cut down to just five, and that class will be announced on February 8th. Fred Taylor says he didn't know he would be a finalist this year, but a former News for Jack sports anchor gave him a call to tip him off. I was asleep. <laughs> I, I was in the bed, man. Uh, you know, I, I got, uh, so Sam Cavares is the local selector, and uh, Sam's an amazing person. He, um, he just called me and said, look, um, there's a program coming on tonight. You might want to tune in. And uh, I said, okay. But I didn't get my hopes up. Um, and uh, when I woke up, I woke up to about 150 texts. My social media was blowing up. And then I opened social media. I saw um, the Jaguars had posted it on their homepage. Everybody was saying, congrats, well-deserving. Uh, but I was sleeping. Fair enough. <laughs> I was sleeping. So, uh, but you know, years passed, man. I, I, I didn't want to get, you know, I try not to get my hopes up too high. But, um, you know, it, it feels good to be a part of the group, though. I know Fred was definitely happy when he woke up. He said that he just wants to let the tape speak for itself, and he thinks it does. So let's go through some of the stats from Fred Taylor's tape. How about that? So Fred Taylor has some impressive stats that I think should earn him a gold jacket. I think this is an easy one for the for the Hall of Fame committee. Fred Taylor rushed for over 11,000 yards, over 60 touchdowns in 11 seasons. That's going to put him in, in some very impressive conversations for players in NFL history. Check this one out. Barry Sanders, who I think a lot of people know if you've seen his highlights at some point, running backs with over 4.6 yards per carry when they've had over 2,500 carries. Here's the list. Barry Sanders, Fred Taylor. Barry's already got his jacket, so we're still waiting on that guy. And that's one stat. We've got plenty more because this guy has had a fantastic career. Here's a look at the rushing leaders in NFL history. All of the guys who are ahead of Fred Taylor, who's at number 17, that are Hall of Fame eligible, already got their jackets. Now, of course, there are guys like Frank Gore and Adrian, Adrian Peterson who the window hasn't opened for them just yet. But Fred Taylor, all of these guys in front of him. So why does the list stop there at 17? Fred Taylor should be in the Hall of Fame. Easy decision for the selection committee. Congratulations to him for finally being a finalist. And hopefully we're talking about a trip to Canton because he's getting that gold jacket this year.